Okay, so here you are as a 3D model. Mm -hmm. So this is just the capture that we saw, so the one second capture, which is the six pairs of images and three flashes, then generate this 3D model of yourself. As you can see here, we lose some resolution around the edge, and that's where you would take your next image. So as long as you had a 30% overlap, the next image would mesh automatically onto the side. So you would then have the front of your face and your ear. You'd rotate around, you'd take another image from here, that would capture this area, and then you'd take probably two images from the back of the head. So as you move around to the back of the head, take two images at the back, and that would generate a watertight 3D mesh for you. So as you can see there, uh, we can change the illumination. Mm -hmm. We've even picked up the fact that you were wearing some glasses before, <laughs> so you can see the, the area um, on the ridge of the nose. And I'll show you, so that's the mono, which actually is the, the texture um, is there, so you can actually see that the, the, the stubble is, is in there. And the, the nice one is the mesh. So this isn't the photograph again, this is the, this is the actual mesh. As you zoom in, you see the, the kind of high level of detail of the mesh. It's very photorealistic, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, exactly. And this is what kind of makes it attractive to the guys that work in animation and, photo and computer games, because it really is that kind of photorealistic mesh. And it's actually a coloured mesh, so, uh, so that makes a, makes a lot of difference. Yeah. Mm -hmm.